I'm Miss McDowell and I teach ninth grade English. Lincoln has been one of my dream schools for a long time, so it feels really great to be here. I loved my previous job and I wouldn't have left it for just any school, but I knew that I really wanted to be part of this teaching team and I wanted to be part of what Lincoln's doing in the community. I've been teaching for 22 years, so I've been at a number of other schools and what I really like about Lincoln or how it's different from other schools is that it's just a really warm, welcoming environment. Kids here are here to learn and they take their education seriously and they work really well together. I also really love the diversity of the student body. I did not always know that I wanted to be a teacher. I actually started college um, and my major was business. So I thought I wanted to just maybe own my own business or be some sort of an entrepreneur. And then as part of one of my classes, I had to do a practicum where I had to go in and actually work with ninth grade students. And I had to do that for about four weeks and I really, really liked it. So I decided, hmm, I think I really, I think this is how I want to spend my career. And I never went back, so. I love teaching every day. I committed uh, to myself early in my career that I was not gonna stay in a career that I didn't like. I don't wanna spend more than 40 hours a week doing something that just doesn't make me happy. So I love coming to work at Lincoln and I just love teaching in general. So my favorite thing obviously are the kids. I really enjoy just their spirits and I like watching them grow and learn and become the adults, the amazing adults that they're going to be. Obviously, there are downsides to every career. One downside to teaching would be that there's just a lot of pressure. We have, we have to, you know, everybody has to pass the EOC or do well in the EOC. We're under a lot of pressure for test scores. Um, we're under a lot of pressure just to make sure kids come to school every day. And I do feel like teachers sometimes can be, um, you know, can be the focal point of negativity, but it, the kids make it worth it. Technology is really advanced in the last 22 years. So whereas when I first started teaching, all we had were textbooks. I was given a book and so were the kids and we just kind of worked through it. So I'm assuming if I could meet those students again, and I taught high school seniors my first year of teaching, if I could run into those kids, they probably would remember me as a little dry and boring. Um, whereas now, you know, with all of the tools that I have available to me, I think I'm able to be uh, a little more exciting and use just a variety of different teaching techniques. I like interactive teaching. So it's been interesting teaching with these 90 minute blocks. I haven't ever done that before. So I learned really quickly that you cannot lecture for 90 minutes straight. You definitely have to mix it up, especially with younger students like freshmen. So they're not gonna sit there for 90 minutes and just listen to the teacher <clears throat> drone on and on about and, um, subjects and predicates. So, uh, I learned very early that the more activity you can do in class, the more you can get kids up and moving and interacting and talking um, to each other is definitely uh, one of my favorite techniques. Uh, I think that I see myself at Lincoln. Honestly, I, I know that um, you know, there are opportunities for growth. Certainly I could go uh, become an administrator if I wanted to or uh, you know, an instructional coach or something else in education, but I really, after, after serving in those roles in previous positions, I really do feel like being a teacher is where I want to be. I choose the classroom. When I was in high school, I'll be honest with you, I, I think I might have been a little bit of a mean girl, and the only reason I tell you that is because it's really important that kids understand that who, whomever you are today, there's always room for growth. So don't ever let you know your current situation or who you feel like you are right now define you. Um, you can be whomever you would like to be. And um, so I learned pretty quickly that being a mean girl wasn't gonna get me anywhere. And now I like to think I'm, I'm a nice girl. My advice for my students would just be to take risks. Take risks in your writing, take risks in um, any in your learning, just in general, don't be afraid to make mistakes. I know grades are important, especially in high school, but they're not everything. Um, like, uh, enjoy the process, not just the destination. Enjoy the journey, not just the destination. Thanks for watching. So this is a